The purpose of this video is to explain why soiling accidents occur and to help you understand what you can do to stop them from happening. Poo accidents can be embarrassing. Many children who have accidents can't tell when they're coming and they're not able to stop them from happening. However, it doesn't always have to be this way. When we eat food, it travels from the mouth, down the throat, and into the stomach. In the stomach, the body begins to break down the food. The food then turns into a liquid, and this liquid leaves the stomach and enters the small intestine. The small intestine is a long, twisted tube where nutrients are absorbed into the body. The body uses these nutrients to help you grow and gives you energy to do all the things you like, like play, run, sing, or whatever you're interested in. The unneeded and unabsorbed liquid becomes poo and travels into the large intestine. Sometimes the large intestine is called the colon. When the poo enters the large intestine, it is liquid. As it travels through the colon, water is absorbed back into the body and the poo becomes more solid. The poo eventually comes to the end of the colon, also known as the rectum. At the very bottom of the rectum is a band of muscle called the anal sphincter. When the poo puts pressure on this muscle, a message is sent to the brain saying it's time to poop. The person then decides if they are going to use the bathroom now or hold it to go later. If the person decides to go, the anal sphincter relaxes and the poo comes out. Problems occur when the person decides to hold it and not go to the bathroom. As the poo sits in the rectum, water continues to be absorbed by the colon and the stools become harder and harder. And as more food is digested, more poo continues to come into the rectum. The rectum grows bigger and bigger, and if this keeps happening, the poo begins to back up into the colon. Eventually, the person finally goes to the bathroom and the poo is very large and hard. What's worse is that it will hurt to poop. This is called constipation. The rectum is like a balloon. The first time it's blown up, it returns back to its original shape and size. However, if it's repeatedly blown up, it eventually becomes big, flabby, and weak. This stretched out rectum becomes a large holding area for poo, setting up the process to repeat itself. And with an overstretched rectum, some children lose the urge to poop. The body then gets sneaky. Remember, when poo first enters the colon, it is liquid. When the new liquid poo meets with the old hard poo, the liquid poo slides through the hard poo and comes out as smears in the underwear. This cannot be controlled and usually is not even felt. Others can tell this has happened by the smell, but children having poo problems many times don't even smell this. The good news is that it doesn't have to be this way. You can stop your body from having accidents with just a few easy steps. The most important thing to do is to sit on the toilet every day and try to have a poop. The best time to sit on the toilet is after eating. Our bodies have a special reflex. When we eat, our stomachs tell our colon to make room by letting the stored poop out. So you should sit on the toilet after breakfast, after lunch, and after dinner. The way you sit on the toilet is important too. Your feet should be flat on the floor. If your feet can't reach the floor, a stepping stool will be needed. This will make it easier to push the poo out. Also, you should sit up straight. Some children like to sit forward. When this is done, only some of the poo will come out. Other children stiffen and cross their legs. This tightens the muscles, and again, not all of the poo will come out. By sitting up straight and relaxing, this will ensure that all the poo comes out each time you go. By following these steps every day, a big and flabby rectum will return back to normal, but it can take up to a year for the rectum to regain its original size and tone. Your parents might be asked to give you medicines to help keep your poo soft and help your body push it out. A medicine called polyethylene glycol, sometimes also known as Miralax, draws water back into the colon, and this helps keep the poo soft. And when the poo is soft, it won't hurt to go to the bathroom. 
Sometimes another medicine called senna will also be added to your body to help push out all of the poo. So by sitting on the toilet every day and having a poo, you'll prevent the backup of poo into your colon. Your stools will stay soft and will be easy to pass. And best of all, there will be no accidents. <laughs>